we know that two lines intersect at exactly one point. We should also realize that a line and a plane intersect at one point. And for that one, imagine having a piece of paper and shoving your pencil through it. That would be the intersection of a line and a plane. And then lastly, two planes intersect at one line. Now, using what you know about points, lines, and planes, try to figure out which of these statements is true or false. If false, try to come up with a counterexample. Take a moment to work through these. When you're done, feel free to go on to see the solutions. Resume your video and you'll be able to see what the solutions are. Okay, for the first one, through any three points, there exists exactly one line. This is false. If we have three non-collinear points, notice we can send a line through AB, that's what postulate 5 tells us, but that line does not go through C. And in fact, there's no single line that will go through all three of these points. So statement A is false. And our counterexample, you can look to the left, or you can just give the counterexample of three non-collinear points. Okay, for the next one, a point can be in more than one plane. And this is true. If we have two planes that intersect, Remember, their intersections align, and that line contains at least two points. So A and B both lie in planes M and N. So this statement is true. OK, the next one, any two planes intersect. The statement is false. And think about the room you're sitting in, or standing in, or the room you're in. Your floor and the ceiling are two planes, but if even when we extend them forever, they don't intersect. And those are what we would call parallel planes. Kind of hard to draw, so let's try this. So we'll have... Imagine two sidewalls that go on forever. Plane M and plane N, which are parallel, or ceiling and a floor. Okay. Next one, a line can be in more than one plane. We already know this to be true because we know the intersection of two planes is a line. So line L lies in both planes L and M, um, M and N, there we go. Line L is in both of these planes. And in fact, there are infinitely many planes that will go through line L. 